Hey everybody, Eddie from GameStorm here. Uh, today I'm going to show you the correct way to get rid of ghosting slash deinterlace on your standard definition videos. I actually already uploaded this video and had the high definition and the standard definition videos on there, but after actually watching my video, um, it wasn't right for the SD portion portion of it. Sorry. Um, so I actually deleted that part of it and re-uploaded the HD one. So now I'm going to actually do the SD one showing you the right way to do it. And I'll show you what was messed up with the other one. Um, so I'm just going to go into Vegas, put in my SD clip, which is the same one I used last time. And last time I used um, Yoshi as an example, so I will do that again. Okay, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit with my frames and what's not. So anyways, I went last time, this is what I did. I did reduce interlace flicker in the properties, changed this to progressive and 1.0. And I was like, okay. And then there was the double head, just like I said. And I was like, okay, well, all you gotta do is hit disable or sample and it works, right? And I was like, oh, look, it's one head. And it looked like it worked. I was like, oh, cool, you know? So that, that was it. But, if you keep going, this is the bad part. Let me zoom out so I can go through this a little bit faster. Okay, here it comes. You all ready? You all ready? It's coming. Uh oh, yes. Do you see? <laughs> Do you see that? That is terrible. And it does that throughout the clip at the start. I mean, look. Are you serious? Like, let's see if it. Let's look at the start. Let's see what it does here. Uh, this should be a part with link. It's really bad too. And I was like, what the crap? Yeah, look, what? look at that. Are you serious? So I had to play around with this some more. Um, this is what I found out. So, the stuff in here, I was like, well, I thought this would work, but it didn't. So what I did is, this is what you always want to do when you start a project. I kind of just, I have a set default project property, whatever you want to call it, that I use. So I went into this and I just kind of looked at it and, um, you know, I've always seen this, the deinterlace method, and I was like, well, I didn't, you know, I didn't really think it did anything, but apparently it does. So, um, first things first, um, change the frame rate. If you know what your frame rate is, change it to it. This is 30, so there you go. I'm going to keep this progressive in this to 1.0. I'm going to keep you HD because I'll show you why here in a little bit. Um, motion blur, like, I can't really tell the difference between any of these. I've tried all of them, so I just keep it at Gaussian or whatever you want to call that. But the deinterlace method, okay. Um, I click blend fields first, and let's just apply it. Okay, well, it, it changed it, but it didn't really help. So what I figured out was, I was like, well, maybe it's because this clip is in... Um, progressive skin. Um, so I'm going to change it back to where it was. So it actually blend the fields. Like, you know, there's two fields. There's an upper field and lower field when you use interlace. So I was like, okay, I'm going to change it back. So I used upper. I'm like, okay. So, oh, well, looky there. All the lines are gone. But it's still got the really bad ghosting. So I was like, hmm. And if I scroll through it, you know, uh, it's it's like, you'll see. Yeah, it's still pretty bad. You can see double image. It's the same way if you pick lower field too. I'll I'll do that just so you trust me, I guess. Just so I'm legit. Yeah, so it's it's still the same. Anyways, I like to pick upper because I'm weird like that. I guess I don't know. Whatever. So anyways, um, I'm gonna go back to the properties now. This is the part interpolate fields. Now this one was blending the field, so it's taking the upper one and the lower one and blending it to make kind of a middle one of both of them, I'm guessing. I mean, that's what blend usually means, so I'm going to pick interpolate. And I was like, okay, I don't really know what that means, but I'm going to click it anyways and see what happens. And now if you look, hey there, what do you know? It looks like it may have fixed it. And let's go back to the Captain Falcon. Oh, 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 way too far. Sorry, I'm sloppy. 
Looky there. Looky there. It's looking nice. Now the true test with the Yoshi. Of course, you gotta have Yoshi up in there. Yep, yep, it's looking good, looking good. So, that fixed it. And I looked up interpolate to see what it meant. And here it goes. Insert something between fixed points. So, it found the upper field and lower field and picked one in the middle. Instead of blending them, it just picks one that's in the middle. So, there you go. So, basically, it's just using one of the frames that's by itself in the middle of the upper and lower, which makes it clear. Perfect. Now, the reason that I left it HD is this is the reason. Um, with SD clips, of course, they're not going to be 16 by 9 usually, anyways, <laughs> if they're standard definition. But um, on YouTube, you know, I, I don't know. I don't like having black around it. To me, it distracts stuff. Uh, I don't know. Like, I, I, I've used it on some of the videos on here, but it's just distracting me. I'd rather see the entire video. And some people don't like it because it stretches it out, but there's some that look pretty good. If you, if you do it right, it won't look stretched out. So that's what I'm going to show you now. Um, anyways, I'm going to go to properties on the clip and hit maintain, maintain aspect ratio and hit OK. And it's going to kind of stretch it out a little bit. Oh, and also I was going to show you, let's see. Let's see what happens if I hit smart resample. I just want to see what happens here. Can't really tell a difference. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's kind of fuzzy. I don't know if it's like that with disable. Let me check. It might be. Yeah, okay, it still is. Anyways, I don't think it matters once you get the the blending part. I, I, I don't know. You can mess around with it. But um, anyways, um, now that I've got the clip to where its aspect ratio is different, um, I'm going to go to the crop button. Hit that. And I actually already have a default one in here, I believe. Melee. Hey, what do you know? Works pretty good. <laughs> so now you can see that the edges are perfect. Now, it still has the black on top, but the reason is because of this cutscene before the game actually has that. Um, if you go to the actual game portion, it'll change. You'll see. See, it's got the, the bars that come down. So now that black part's gone. So it actually fills it full screen. And if you look at it, it looks pretty good. Let's see what happens if I change it to smart. I'm just messing around with it, kind of, you guys. Oh, oh, oh. See how I did that? See how there's two now? Yeah. Not good. See how it's doing that? Yeah, so yeah, I guess you do want to hit disable. Yep, disable does it. Cool. Alright, so that's how you do it. Um, uh, I guess I will render this out. Oh, well, I actually already did. I have it on my channel. I'm actually doing a series of video game intros. I'm just going to record every game I can get my hands on and record the intro just so I'll have them all. <laughs> so anyways, um, this is Audi from GameStorm. I will talk to you guys later, and I uh, hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching the video.